All right, everybody, what is up? Bringing you the Collegiate Star League for Butler Esports. What is up, everyone? If you guys are new to me and who I am, I am the mustache. Going to be the host for the rest of the Butler Esports season, both for the A squad and the B team. Hi, Pipe Hype. Just call me Cam. What is up, my friend? I know uh, you're coming in here. So, yeah, yeah if you guys do, do not know what this is, this is the Collegiate Star League. Similar uh, to some of the other Collegiate Leagues that we have out there. Obviously, they have... Uh, you know, the Collegiate Series for Rocket League, Carball, uh, the Carball Association is also out there. And then you, you have this Collegiate Star League. So good little group keeps these uh, college kids playing in different tournaments, keeps them, uh, you know, active throughout the season. We are just waiting on a few little things and we will get all this going. But uh, yeah, so we've got about five minutes or so. Um. But, uh, yeah, so we are going to get this game going here shortly. I'm going to make the lobby and everything. I know that uh, one of the guys from Butler was actually going to try and get me into the uh, party. So it would make it a little bit easier. There we go. E I see it now. So I got him all added up. But yes, this is the Collegiate Star League. I'm new to it as well, so this is going to be kind of interesting for me. Uh, we do have Purdue taking on Butler. This is Butler's B squad. And Purdue, they've got a handful of teams in this as well. IU, I believe, has two teams. So, uh, yeah, they've most of the Indiana teams, which is where I'm based out of, uh, have some teams. The Collegiate Star League, there is all kinds of regions. I'm going over it now. And it is just, it is spread out quite a bit. We see uh, Butler's B team. They are coming in at 0-7, currently 13th in the standings right now. And uh, so it, it's it's going to be good. But uh, I think... I think this should be a good matchup. We've seen Purdue. If you guys are you know, new to who I am, I am a community caster for the Indie Gaming League, which is a league that is for Rocket League as well as other games, but we are able to play in any type of... Uh, it doesn't matter what rank you are, you can play it in it as well. So I've seen most of the Purdue squads just because they do uh, compete in the Indie Gaming League. The Butler squads I am a little bit new to as well. And then uh, IU, uh, we haven't seen them. You know, those are running at the Indiana teams. But looking in this Northeast 2 region, uh, we do have, looks like, one, two, two teams from Purdue. We got two teams from Butler, two teams from IU. And then we've got uh, Goshen College. I believe they are also in the Indie Gaming League. So that's always nice to see those guys. So it should be a fun time. All right. So I'm going to get this lobby made up because it is getting close to that 2 o'clock time frame. Uh, they can invite me. I think they were wanting to try and get us all lobby, you know, partied up and everything. But how are how's everybody going today? This is uh, I know everybody was kind of antsy because the servers literally went down about 45 minutes ago, and I know Psionics they were just racing because obviously we have RLCS starting here in about an hour, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, I know everybody's kind of. Got their focus on that today. I know play-ins are going on as well, or play-ins will be going on later today. So it has just been, it has been a busy day for Rocket League, and I think all of the hype just kind of dropped the servers down. So they actually had to figure all that out, and uh, they were able to get them all up and running. So we were, we are going to be able to get some Rocket League matches going, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and get these guys underway. And, uh, all right, I'm going to go ahead and make it. All right, I went ahead and just made the lobby. It'll just make it a little bit easier for those guys so they can tell everybody who they need to tell, and we will get this game going. But, yeah, I'm excited. I'm I'm uh, being brought on as a caster for Butler and all of you know all of their Rocket League aspects, 
I know they've got this the end of the collegiate uh, star series that we've got right now. Um, we do, if I'm looking at their schedule, see if I can put it up real quick. Yeah, they've got Purdue that they have to play, which is obviously today. And then trying to pull up the next one as well. But uh, let's see what it says. Yes, we got Purdue this week. Then we have MTU Huskies. Don't see me online, it says. Uh, should be online. Let's see. You. Oh, you're right. Huh. That was a big oops from me. Apparently, I had myself as invisible on Rocket League. So, uh, <laughs> that one's... They were wondering why they couldn't see me online. Well, there you go. That's why you have it. But uh, I went ahead and made the lobby, so they can go ahead and join me. Uh... There we go. They're all in the party. And they will be able to join up this matchup. And then we're just going to wait on the Purdue boys, and we will get this game going. So thank you guys all for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. We've got, like I said, the Collegiate Star League currently going on. Uh, so the MTU Huskies Black, that'll be the following week. And then Purdue Black team, and then rounding it out against the uh, IIT Warriors B. I mean, you probably lead as well. Uh, okay, well, I'll remake it then. There we go, so... <clears throat> all right so these guys all should join in now there we go there's everybody from them and we will get everybody squared away so thank you guys so much for tuning in i really do appreciate it and uh, we will i'm so excited to kind of see this all round out and kind of see these collegiate teams i'm really interested in the collegiate uh series you know whether it be carball whether it be csl whether it be you know the actual collegiate rocket league series crl um I'm, I'm excited because these are players that are able to make a name for themselves and you know really kind of build that fan audience that they want and you know work in the competition against other collegiate players and then from there work on getting into the rlrs and then uh, rlcs so we should be ready to go whenever they are ready i'm ready let's get this game going purdue versus butler this should be a fantastic matchup getting ready to come at you here shortly they're already on the field so we are going to head down to the field let's bring you game number one of this particular matchup you see meat man and giggy's going to go up for the core relba is there Relba? Ooh, and a little bit of a missed touch coming out from Orange. That is Butler over on the orange side. It's going to be Purdue over on your blue side now. Giggy is going to send it down the pitch, trying to get it around one, but Meat Man does get a good 50 on that. And a demo coming out from Nam onto, or uh, coming out onto Nam rather. You see Ellie over on the sideline. Giggy's just going to try and get it around, but Relba does get it past him. Nam can't get the touch and baseball is going to have to come in to try and get it away from a scoring position ellie is up can they put the shot on no it's going to be off to the corner where we saw an orange defender able to get that cleared away that one's just off the post dangerously in front of blue or i'm sorry orange net blue putting the shot on meat man's going to try and put a shot there not able to get the touch he wants and it's still kind of stalled out in the midfield nam is going to have to send it over to the sidewall try and take control of it getting it around one not able to make it happen, and he's going to have to retreat back for some boost. So Relba is going for Giggy. Does get a hit, but Ellie is going to get that one cleared away over to the side corner as well. 
Nam coming in fast. Ellie trying to take it control of it, but not able to make it happen. Meat Man's going to send us back over onto the orange half. Giggy does go for a 50. Relba is up, but not able to get the touch they want. And Giggy is going to send us over to the blue half. And it's just been kind of a back and forth situation as I say that, though. Nam trying to get that away. Ellie is going to put the first goal in here in this series. Great play from them. Nam just trying to race back. We see both orange defenders in the same corner. Awkward for them. The communication may have just not been there. And sadly enough, it does allow the goal in. But 335 left in regulation. Plenty of time to turn this around. Ellie has got control of it. They're on the sidewall now. Giggy's right below him, and baseball's going to be in that mid position. You see Ellie just going for the demo. That was an interesting play right there. She, I'm, I'm going to say I'm assuming it's a she, but who knows? It is hard to tell when names get picked here in any type of gaming situation. Nam is going to send out or Enham or Nam. I'm going to say Nam unless I, I'm told otherwise. Giggy's hanging back. He's got control of it. Trying to seize Ellie there. Trying to get around. He's low on boost. Good way to keep it in close to him. Well, one thing I've always been told in different coaching sessions that I've been a part of is if you are low on boost, you want to keep that ball close to you. You do not want to give it away because you'll never be able to react in time to get it back. Giggy getting it around one. Now I'm trying to put the shot on and a little bit of a bump. May have actually could have helped them out, but Relba is going to put that shot in. Off of the post, Ellie not able to react in time, so that one is going to be a good one for Butler as they are able to skate away, making sure not another goal hap uh, is able to fall into the back of the net. Relba is just keeping the pressure on Ellie, putting the shot on. Nam is hanging back. Relba trying to keep it going, redirecting it. Giggy's going to leave that one up for baseball, but not able to get the touch that he wants. You see Ellie. Good 50 from them. Baseball to the sidewall. Relba, good touch to Ellie. Ellie's actually on the rotation back. So that one's going to give all the pressure to Butler right now. You see Meat Man trying to drive it up the pitch. Baseball, good 50 from him. He is low on boost, though, and nothing in the mid tank. So he's going to midfield. So he's just going to go for that bumping play, trying to take out any type of offensive pressure. Meat Man off of the wall. Giggy's going to be there. Great play from them and can't get it above Relba. Ooh, and a little bit of a team bump right there. But they do still have control of it. Baseball just trying to stay with it. Giggy coming in. And a potential bump right there. Can that anything develop? No, it's still in front of net. Nam is up. Relba's got to beat him, and he does. But this one should be for Meat Man now. Giggy trying to keep the pressure on. They do. Baseball's going to have to come off the wall. Ellie is already up in the air. Gets it around one. Can they get around Meat Man? No, Meat Man is going to send it to Nam, who's waiting in the midfield now. Baseball is back. Relba sending it to the sidewall where baseball is hanging out. He's low on boost, though, and Giggy's going to have to keep control of it. Good play from him. Meat Man, though, does get a read. Baseball still low on the boost, trying to put a shot on. Relba gets that cleared away, but it's still kind of dangerously in scoring position for uh, Butler as Purdue is just trying to get it out of harm's reach. Ooh, and that one, that one could have been close. Right now, it's still a one-goal game. 50 seconds left in regulation. Can we see Butler turn this around? It's going to be off the back wall. Baseball's got to get that one cleared away. Possibly going for the squishy save. Not able to get the hit. Relba keeping it in there, but baseball should be able to get this one cleared away. Ellie, one last shot, and they are going to get that one in there. At 32 seconds, two-goal lead for Purdue right now. That was, was close, dangerously in front of net for quite some time. They weren't able to get it out, and that one is going to cost them as Ellie is going to put another one. And now, two goals for two shots, if I'm not mistaken. Good plays coming out from them. Relba off the backboard. Nam's going to have to get this one away. Meat Man trying to keep the 50, and Ellie's going to be there. Baseball trying to hold on to the pressure. As they send it down, Ellie's going to put this one in. and Oh, I'm sorry. Relba is actually going to take the goal from them. Ellie wanted the third goal, but not able to get it. She is going to get a, an assist for that, though. Relba is going to knock that one in. So good plays coming out from them. Just need to kind of watch the defensive positioning for Butler. That's would be my key to success here in game number two. This one is 13 seconds, three goals down. Not sure if they'll be able to get it. Love to see a momentum goal. Try to develop so that they can, you know, get that uh, morale booster right there as baseball is going to try and keep the pressure going, but Meat Man is going to let that one drop, and Butler is going to take game number one. 
So as we head back here into the booth, as I update the overlay real quick, Purdue now up in the series by one goal or one game. And it, it, it was a close game. Don't get me wrong. Apparently I did not uh, click the button like I wanted it to. There we go. It, it was definitely a close game. When we see the score right there. Uh, lots of offense coming out from Purdue. The offense is there for Butler as well, but they do have the five saves, five saves as well for Purdue. I, I just think it's the defensive positioning of Butler. That's kind of what hurt them there. It was really relatively a close game until about the last minute or so. So I think Butler can still, you know, even up this series and potentially take some more games off of Butler or off of Purdue. But uh, we we just have to watch the positioning of Butler's defense right there. They cannot be doubled up in the corner. Purdue, same thing. You know, Purdue hasn't been, hasn't been a perfect team. They had some uh, little miscues as well. It's just the offense coming out from Alley. Five shots off, uh, you know, yeah, five shots, two goals, an assist, a save. I mean, doing everything on all sides of the ball. Good play from them. So if you're Butler, watch out for Ellie. They're going to be a main striker at that midfield position. And... Uh, Meat Man, he was he was there. He was the, he's Meat Man's gonna be your third man uh, back. I feel like for but uh, for Purdue, so I think Butler can still take this way. Like I said, it was a very close game up until about the last minute or so, and then it kind of got away from them. But I think this would be a good series now. So we are getting ready to head down to the field where Purdue is currently leading the series. Let's find out how game number two is gonna go. Man, good 50 from them, but baseball is going to get that easy clear. He does have about 50 left in the tank, trying to get it around Relba, and they do. And I'm liking the already, I'm already liking the offensive pressure that I'm seeing coming out of Butler. They're really pushing down on them. Mazzelli is going to take control of this, though. It's going to be on the sidewall. Baseball is just trying to keep it away from a Purdue player. Good 50 coming out from Giggy. It's going to be off that sidewall. Nam is already racing there, but Meat Man is going to get the hit, but demoed for his efforts. Nam already on his rotation back, not able to kind of recover on that one. And demo coming out from Rubba onto Giggy. This one, good 50 coming out from baseball to make sure that gets saved. That was a great defensive play, and he's going to get another one right there as he's already earned a savior medal here in game number two. Ellie off of that corner. Nam gets a great read on that. And another one off of Relba's touch. Meat Man's going to have to try and stall that in the midfield. Now Giggy sending it down the pitch. It is going to be a little bit off, but where is Relba going to put this one? Putting it down to baseball where he does try to put a shot on, but Meat Man is in the corner waiting for it. Demo coming out onto baseball. This one's a wide open net, but baseball leaves it. Gets the boost in time and is able to kind of recover on that one. This one's still dangerously in front of the orange net. Meat Man coming in, and he is going to put that goal in right there. We saw Nam rotate in. I'm not sure what his uh, boost situation was looking like, but he sees Giggy right there. He knows he's got to get down in net and see what he can do, and Meat Man reads it perfectly. A water falls down. It's an awkward position, but Purdue does get the goal in, so... Let's see what will happen now. Can Butler turn this around again? There's still plenty of time. Baseball trying to put a shot on. Meat Man's going to try and take that one away. Relba's got the touch. We see Giggy is up, but Ellie is going to get that one cleared. And now Baseball is going to make sure he keeps the pressure going for, per, or, I'm sorry, for Butler, rather. Giggy just keeping up. Bowling on Relba. Good play from him. But is it going to work for them? Ellie's going to try and take that one away. Sending it down over into the corner. Giggy, he's got control of it. Meat Man's not going to get the touch that they want. And, ooh, but Relba, great play from them. Baseball and Nam both up. They got to watch the communication. Double commit could have been awkward for them, but Giggy is going to send us over onto the blue half. It's going to be off the wall, though. Can Relba get the touch he needs? Oh, I'm sorry. Ellie put the touch. No. And that one was so close. Nam had the shot. It went crossbar out. Unfortunate. Now Meat Man's driving it down the pitch. Relba's got control, and it's just kind of stalling over about mid and on orange. Ellie not able to get their touch they want, and Giggy's got control. Can he keep it going? Trying to take out one. He does. Can we see baseball put the shot in? No. Nam is going to keep the pressure going. Baseball trying to rotate around, and Ellie already spawned in. Trying to keep the pressure going. So the pressure is there for Butler. It's just the, the you know, converting of the goals, what they need. It's so close, so many opportunities, but the defense for Purdue is just holding out strong. Relba trying to put that shot in off the pass for Meat Man, but Nam is going to be there. 
He's gonna try and get it over one. He does, but a demo coming out on Giggy from Relba, taking out any type of offensive pressure right there. And Relba is gonna get that one away. A little bit of a team bump there. Giggy out of boost, and we saw that Nam was out of boost, and he was actually trying to rotate out Ellie. It's gonna be on that sidewall. Baseball not able to get the touch, and that one's gonna be a goal for Meat Man. As we saw that Butler was so boost starved on that side, and that's just an unfortunate thing. And good touch. Baseball so close trying to get that out of there. And I believe, you know, Nam was just kind of, it was one of those situations where Nam was like, hey, baseball, I, I almost need you to get that. And he, he gave it the try, but he just, I don't think he had the boost to get up there. And it just kind of put the entire team in an awkward position. That one is a possible flip reset, but a good save coming out from Giggy. He does have a touch. I think he's a little bit low boost starve. He's trying to keep the ball close to him. Baseball. He does get a touch off the sidewall, and Relba is not going to be able to get the touch. They need Meat Man over to Ellie, who's on the sidewall, but she's going to leave that one hanging back. Baseball in the corner. Can he take the control? Wanted the boost, didn't, wasn't able, and it just finally spawns in now. Giggy, though, sending it down the pitch. Great clear from him, but it is a catch for Ellie. Off the backboard, not able to make it happen. Baseball trying to redirect it. It's still in dangerously in front of the orange net, or I'm sorry, blue net rather. Orange trying to make the score, but Nam not able to get the touch that he needs. And now we're back onto the orange half. Relba putting the shot on. Baseball, easy clear, but a nice stop getting that double touch from Relba as he came down on the ball. Great play from him. Giggy, has got some boost in the tank. Off the sidewall, can Nam get this? He does. It's a wide open net, and that goes in. Butler is on the board, 50 seconds and there's just down one goal. It is definitely possible, and we need more opportunities like that coming out from Butler. Relba just not able to get up in the air and get behind him like that. Perfect ball placement coming out from Purdue. That's what you like to see if you're a Purdue fan. Or, I'm sorry, Butler fan. Giggy, not going to be able to get the touch. He's going to leave it for baseball. Baseball does get it cleared off off of an awkward touch, I believe, from Relba. And Giggy trying to put the shot on, not able to make it happen. Name's going to put either, but a good clear from Ellie. Meat Man's got control of it now. We see baseball trying to put a shot, but Relba is back. 30 seconds now. Can Butler get the goal that they need to get that equalizer and possibly send us into overtime? Relba almost getting the bump on Giggy. Can they get the redirect? And what a shot from Giggy! That is what you want to see if you are a Butler fan. What a fantastic catching his own pass off the wall, getting that redirect around Meat Man. That is what you want to see. That is a fantastic goal. And now we see Butler tying it up at 18 seconds. Can we see Butler turn this around now? Maybe the caster curse will help, and it's really not going to be a curse for Butler, and we could potentially see them take the lead. Nam off of the clear right there, Relba. Off the backboard, Nam gonna drop it down. This one dangerously in front of net. Can we see Giggy take control of it? He's got no boost. And he gets it around one. It's a wide open net, but Relba is gonna be able to get that one cleared. Baseball trying to keep the pressure going. It is gonna be off the corner and drop. So we are in overtime of game number two. Who is going to come out on top? Is it gonna be Purdue or is it going to be Butler? I'd love to see Butler even up this series and guarantee us at least a game four. Giggy. Sending it down, wide open net, but it is going to be off to the right. Should be Nam, but no, he's not able to get the uh, angle that he wants. And we are still neck and neck right now. 20 seconds, and Giggy is going to put it in, and there you go. Butler is going to take the game and even up this series. We are guaranteed at least a game four. And what a turnaround coming out from Butler. Giggy putting the team on his back. Fantastic plays out of him. And they have evened up the series. So as we fix the overlays, we're going to head back into the booth now as we now award Butler their win. So tie series right now, one to one. And this has been quite a ball game. Much, much better coming out from Butler this time around. And that's what I like to see. Great plays coming out from Giggy. You know, he had some fantastic shots right there. He's ironically, he's only going to be credited with one shot, but he's got two goals. So you're shooting over 100 percent. So thank you, Psionics, for those statistics, uh, those st uh, statistics. But uh, yes, three saves coming out from baseball, three saves coming out from Giggy. Uh, Nam, you know, one save from him, a goal from him. Oh, I'm sorry. That's what it is. It was the. Uh, uh, I think Nam got the goal at the end right there. 
one goal for two shots. But or Purdue coming out with five shots again, coming out from Meat Man. Uh, Ellie coming in with the one, two assists. So, you know, Ellie again playing on all sides of the ball perfectly. And like I said, Butler, they gotta watch out for Ellie. They're gonna be that's gonna be the player that is going to be, you know, your your thorn in your side right there. And if you can take Ellie out of position, I think Butler can continue on this momentum. Now they've got that hype, they've got that morale boost. They just gotta hold on to this, and Butler can continue to take this. But Purdue, they are not going to go down without a fight. Let's see what's going to happen in game number three. These guys are already down on the field, so we are going to head down to the field ourselves. See Meat Man and Nam both going up for it. Ellie coming in fast. Baseball's got to get that cleared, and you see how he actually stopped in front of the net. It was unfortunate. He didn't expect the ball to come so slow, and Ellie puts it in the perfect spot right behind him. And there is the first goal for Purdue. Very quickly, though, only, what, three seconds in, and we see a goal, but... That's definitely plenty of time to come back from that. So do not even, you know, take it to heart as we see Nam hanging down there. Ooh, Ellie does get the read on that one. Meat Man trying to put a shot on. Giggy should be able to get that one cleared and almost taken out for his efforts. Ellie, ooh, coming in. Ellie did take the boost, but Giggy got it around him. Nam coming in and good rotation. Giggy knew that he didn't have the boost and decided, hey, Nam, go ahead and come in. You've got the much better play. Giggy going to be there, but no, so close. Relba is going to get that save right there. Nam popping it. Oh, I'm sorry, Relba popping it down off of a Nam, Nam touch. You see Giggy and Baseball both in the corner, both going for boost. They got to watch the communications right there. Baseball. Trying to get that one cleared away. I don't know if he had the boost. Not sure who was able to pick it up in the corner. But we see a good clear from baseball right there. Giggy trying to get the touch. Not able to make it happen. Meat Man's going to try and get that one down. But Giggy again. Fantastic plays coming out of him. Ellie not able to make that shot. And the demos are coming out for sure. Purdue is wanting to definitely take them out of position. See Relba. Has a touch. Giggy's got to get that one out. But Nam, Ellie, again, constantly being there, making sure they're in the position to make a scoring play. Giggy, low on boost. Relba reading it perfectly. Baseball keeping the pressure up, though. It's over in the corner. Meat Man is going to get it down to Relba, who's waiting for the boost to spawn in the corner. And now we're back onto the orange half. Relba, great read, but Ellie actually comes in. And there's the double commit coming up for Purdue. So if you're a Purdue fan, you don't want to see that happen. you got to watch the communications back there. Baseball, keeping the pressure up. Ellie, all the time in the world, no one's going to put any pressure on it, and Rob is going to continue the control. See Baseball and Meat Man going for the 50. Nam getting that out. That was off of the post, rather. Giggy, they're still only down one goal. Can he get this off the backboard? Baseball's there, but not able to get above the ball to get it down. Nam trying to keep the pressure on, and this is some good offensive plays coming out from Butler. Giggy having all the boost that he could to try and put any pressure there. Meat Man putting a shot on, but Nam is going to get that one cleared. That actually could have been a little bit unfortunate had Giggy gotten the touch on that. But that one's going to be right in front of the net, and Relba by himself is going to put that one in. Purdue up now two goals just at halfway. Again, the corner, the, the, the communication coming out from Butler when they're in their defensive third is going to be their Achilles heel. That's going to be their their one thing that they need to work on is watching their rotations when they're stuck in their defense. Baseball, getting it over Meat Man. Trying, but no, Meat Man is going to get demoed. Can we get it? Baseball, I know Giggy was right there. He's wanting to keep control of that. And that one's going to be Relba. Relba putting the shot on. It's going to be crossed. No, it's actually not going to be crossbar. I thought it was going to be crossbar down, but nevertheless, it actually goes upper 90. Good passing play from Elliot. I think that was a triple commit coming out from Butler. You hate to see that one. But now three goals for Purdue. It's still plenty of time, a little over two minutes. They can get these goals, but I'd like to see one pretty quickly. Now, right there is where you need, and perfectly, Nam puts it in. Now, if they can just get one more in the next 30 seconds, we'll have a ball game for sure. That'll give just enough time to get the third and final equalizer to possibly send us into overtime. Right now, this is the momentum that Butler needs to propel themselves further in this game. You do not want to go down 
to a series match point after this one. Gigi is going to hang back. Good play from them. Relba trying to keep it going. Not able to make it happen. See baseball over on the sidewall. But Meat Man is going to send it over to the corner. Relba hanging back. Good play from him. Good rotation coming out of the midfield. Popping it up. Baseball should be able to get this cleared out. But Ellie coming in. Again, they are just constantly putting the pressure on. But Giggy, the MVP for, for Butler right here, getting the flick over one. Can he get it? No, so close. Nam, I thought was going to get that dunk right there on Relba. But Relba was able to get that one cleared out. Baseball from Ellie. See, Giggy is up. He's got the touch. Relba is going to try and take it away. Just kind of. Purdue is constantly in their face, just making sure they keep the pressure up. They do not want to give Butler any type of a chance to get any scoring positioning. Giggy's going to be there. Ellie just trying to go for a potential flip reset, but no. Giggy's going to demo them. Nam's going to be there. Meat Man gets the touch, but it's in front of the net. Ellie is able to get control of it. Relba's going to get kind of fumbled up by baseball hanging back. Nam should be able to get this clear. He leaves it down, and baseball is going to take the corner boost and the control. Relba not be able to reset. This one is going to be in front, but Meat Man trying to put the shot on. Baseball, great defensive play from him, but sadly enough, demoed for his actions. We see Nam not able to make the touch he needs. Relba putting a shot on. It's going to be crossbar out. Baseball gets it cleared over to where Meat Man. Now the pressure is starting to encroach again. Meet Nam trying to put a shot on. Ellie getting it cleared out. Just hard to get around this Ellie who is constantly in their face. Nam off the back wall. Can we see anybody from Orange? Baseball trying to get the touch he wanted, but it actually hits off of his wheels. Giggy, can he get the goal that they need? Ooh, that one is good. Clear over into the Butler half. Baseball just trying to take it away. This one is going to drop. Purdue taking game number two. So now we are in a potential series match point. Butler now leading the series by one game. Let's head back into the booth now where we will talk about everything that we have just seen. Again, you know, the, the key to success for Butler is going to be taking out Ellie. They are just, and you know, I say that Relba coming in with the uh, with the two goals, two shots, so shooting 100%, Ellie shooting 100%, five shots coming out of Meat Man. Again, the pressure, Butler's got the offense there. It's just when they get stuck in their defensive third, oh, party was destroyed because of a connection error. What is up, everyone? You are starting to hear the crowd go loud, so let's head down to the field, or really to the booth, rather, where you are going to see me, the mustache, bringing you some more Collegiate Star League action this weekend. So, if you guys tuned in last weekend, we, uh, everybody knows, there was, um, there's some server issues, uh, across the board, uh, pretty much across Google, all, all in and of itself. Uh, I know Rockstar Games was having problems with their servers, obviously, Psyonix, we all know how that was going, they were having problems with their servers. So, because of that, there was some issues, and... Uh, there was basically, you know, uh, a lot of problems from that. And we got in through the series. We got three games in. Purdue leading the series now two to one. So this is a continuation of that matchup. And we see Butler boys are here. We're just uh, waiting for Purdue to show up. But basically, it was kind of a back and forth situation. I'm, I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, Purdue won game one. Butler turns around when game wins uh, wins wins game number two and then Purdue turns out and wins game number three so we're in here into game number four Butler has to win this one if they want to continue the series otherwise it will end after just the one mat or one game I hate to say it but uh we're just continuing what already had taken place last weekend so once we get these boys on the field we will get this game it's going to be game four so the series, as you can see right there on the overlay, is Butler, I'm, I'm sorry, Purdue, leading two games with Butler only having the one. But Butler was looking very good last week, and unlike typical situations where you have a five-game series and maybe the servers die and you just remake the lobby and continue on, I like to use 
those type of times to say, all right, guys, you know, especially if you're down in the series, all right, this is what we need to do. This is what, you know, this is what we need to work on. This is what we were doing very well. You know, talk over with your team, say, you know, guys, we got this. We're, we may be down a game, but we can still get back in this. They've had an entire week to kind of prepare themselves, go over the footage that basically was there. Both teams, really, Purdue and Butler, they both could have gone over it and been like, look, this is how they were playing. This They play very well. This is what we need to work on. You know, this is uh, we need to watch when we're in our defensive third. We need to watch when we're pushing up. We need to watch the passing plays from the, from our opponents. Not only, uh, you know, we need to develop passing plays for ourselves. Stuff like that. That's what you want to do. If you're both, even even though Purdue was winning the series, they still should have gone over the tapes and been like, "Look, Butler was able to take a game off us. This isn't a 3-0 sweep." Uh, so you know, it's not something that is just a guaranteed win for them. They Butler was able to take the game off. So Butler still has the potential to send us into a game five, and I really hope they do. Uh, they were looking very well. As the series went on, they were looking very well. Um, but like I said, Purdue was able to take two games off of them. Hopefully they can turn it around and give us two more games of Rocket League before RLCS starts. I know everybody's getting anxious for that, uh, but th we've got play-ins happening this weekend. Again, basically because all the servers had so many issues this whole past week. Uh, we've kind of, everything's gotten pushed back to this weekend. So you have play-ins, you've got, you know, week one of RLCS, both for NA and EU, because both of them got delayed. You've got college car ball that was taking place yesterday and stuff. I mean, there's so much going on Rocket League because everybody's had to catch up because of the server issues. It was unfortunate, but it, uh, they got them fixed. That's, that's the important part is, you know, they got them, they got them back working. Everybody's as content as can be. I know there's, you know, a few issues here and there. Um, I think I've seen a few people have some higher pings than uh, one would really hope. Um, but I, I think 90% of the servers are back to what they needed to be. And uh, we'll, we're, we're back playing Rocket League like we all know and love and want to see happen. Uh, we're just waiting on Purdue to show up. It is just a little bit past two o'clock. The match is scheduled for two p or for a two p.m. matchup, um, but uh, yeah, this is the Coll collegiate star league. If you are if you are new to all of this, uh, similar to kind of how college car ball, it's just another league that these college players can get into and you know build their build their for lack of a better term build their clout. You know, get a name for themselves. Not only you know you can play for scholarships and stuff. But it's just another league that they can build and work on their skills and then go from there and try to make it into the RL, RL, RLRS play-ins and, you know, make it in the pro scene. That's all everybody's that's everybody's dream right now is to make it into the pro scene. And, and I'm so glad that Epic and, and Psyonix has been able to add more teams to it. You know, hopefully we'll add even more teams. I believe with the new round robin system that they have, it kind of kind of sets themselves up with the group stage and everything for basically 16 teams in the RLCS. So that would be fantastic. If we got to see that, that would mean more teams in the RLCS. That would mean more teams in the RLRS. That means, you know, more opportunities, play-ins and stuff like that. So it'd be a good thing for all of us. We're just waiting on Purdue right now. Uh, if you guys are new to me, I am the mustache. I am a community caster for the Indie Gaming League. If you don't know what that is, you probably you probably have heard about it before, just never really realized it. If you're a big fan of Sunless Khan, he uh, definitely promotes it in most of his videos. He's a big partner of uh, of ours. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm building up my casting uh, career. You know, everybody's dream is to make it to the RLCS. I would love to be able to, you know, guest cast or guest host on on some of these. Uh, uh, different shows, you know, work my way up. I've I've seen uh, uh, many different casters do that, and I, I'd like to do it myself. So that's kind of what I'm hoping for. I'm uh my pro days. I'm not sure if my pro days are gonna have come and gone, but uh, yeah, that's a little bit about me. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter right down below me, and you can also find find me on Twitch. That is my Twitch. Uh, link right below me as well so i typically stream it's going to change now it's going to be wednesdays and fridays now it used to be wednesday thursday fridays but i'm going to change that up it's going to be wednesdays and fridays now and then some odd days here and there all right so we've got everybody so i am ready whenever they are they can go ahead and join up and i'll let them know and uh they uh we will get down to the field where these guys are ready 
like I said, this series is taking legit Titan coming in. Yo, 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 throwing up my emotes. Thank you so much for that. Uh, but this series is a continuation of last weekend. So Purdue is already starting out with two games, Butler having one. This is game number four of this series. And so, oof, indeed, somebody I see right there. But let's head down to the field, and uh, we will get this game. I've got to turn on my volume because I had to turn it off. So I've got to turn on the game volume. We will get that up here shortly. There we go. There's some game volume. All right. So we've got it back. Sorry about that. I had to turn it down so that I could uh, have the music playing, but also not hear you guys hear the constant bumping as baseball is going to get a good bump right there. And if you guys are just tuning in, Butler is represented over by the orange side. Purdue represented by the blue. Giggy getting a nice redirect. Giggy was a MVP last week. You know, he was definitely putting the team on his back and there he is again. Giggy right out the gate, 24-25 in left in regulation and already putting up a goal. Great plays coming out of Butler. And like I said, you know, when servers go down, typically the host of the lobby or the caster or whatever will just remake the lobby and you get maybe an extra 30, 40 seconds or something to really give your team a pep talk. But now both of these squads have had a week. They've had a week to go over the two, the three games that they've already played and figure out how each other play. And so far, Butler is able to put the goal on. So hopefully they were able, able to go over some of, the, some of the footage from last week and really help them propel themselves. You can see the records below each team right there on the overlay. Uh, what rank are they legit Titan? I'm unsure of what their rank, you know, it is the collegiate series So I don't think they specify by rank. So I'm, I'm gonna say most of them are probably I don't think anybody's really uh, This is the B team for Butler. I want to say champ two, maybe champ three Maybe there's a few uh, grand champs in there as well like lower grand champs, but uh, Yeah, I'm not I'm not quite sure of their uh, ranks. I'll have to ask them uh Maybe after this series, I'll ask them. Because we've got another matchup coming at 8 p.m. tonight. It's going to be the Butler A-team versus IU. Relba trying to put a shot on. Ellie's going to be there. Not able to make it. And so close. Ellie was another key player for Purdue last week. Making some great plays. But Giggy being your key player over here on Butler. The captain of the squad as well. Baseball just trying to feel out what Rubbo is going to do. Giggy's going to get a hit off that. I signed up for the Void Tournament right at 2 a.m. when it closed. Oh, man. Ellie trying to just hang back, wait for a play right there. Rubbo's going to set it up, but that one is going to go over. Giggy not able to make a play, and Rubbo's got no boost. A back pass to Zangus. Can it develop into something? Giggy and Ellie kind of a back and forth situation. Baseball putting a shot on. Rubbo's got to get that cleared, and he does. Great play coming out from them. I believe it was uh, Nam, Nam 100, trying to get it around Zangus. Not, or I'm sorry, Giggy trying to get it around Zangus. Rubbo putting a shot on. Baseball should be able to get this clear. We're in the corner now, just past the halfway mark, ladies and gentlemen. It is a one-goal lead for Butler. If they win this game, we will move on to a game five, and could be a very interesting end to the series. Like I said, if you're just tuning in, this is a continuation of last week's collegiate star league matchup it was butler versus purdue and because the servers kind of crashed they were not able to finish it out so we are finishing it out now zangus gonna try and put a shot on it's gonna go off the post and again purdue is hitting the post unfortunate for them ellie is up trying to put the shot on baseball is gonna get that one cleared i think giggy actually came down that was almost a little dangerous of a situation as giggy could have uh could have gotten uh, fumbled up with baseball, but they do come out on top. Baseball does have control of it, sending it down the pitch now. Giggy getting a great clear back over onto the blue half. Relba trying to take control. I think they were trying to rotate for the corner boost as well. I don't think it developed. There it is. It finally spawned in, so I bet they were looking for that corner boost right there. MB, MP Baseball. Hanging back, he's got low boost. Baseball is going to come around, but Giggy takes control. And Nam trying to hit a shot, 100% boost. Zangus putting a shot on, and that one does go in. Zangus credited with the goal, and Purdue tie it up with just at a minute left. Relbo with a great pass. Zangus trying 
to get it past. He gets it past the one defender. One defender. Nam does get a hit, but it does actually bounce into the goal. Unfortunate for them. See baseball over to that corner. Zangus trying to take it away. Nam is going to put some pressure on it. Not able to make it happen. Giggy has control. Does get around one defender, but does get bumped by Ellie in the air. No boost. And a dream, trying to make something develop. Zangus does take it away. MP Baseball is there. A double commit coming up from Purdue. Is that going to be a, a, a capitalized or a capital situation? I think I just created a word there, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but nevertheless, that was a close call and was a potential opportunity, but nothing was to develop from it. Relba trying to make a play. It's going to be, man, he was waiting for that one to drop. So close, but it does hit crossbar. MP Baseball should be able to get this one out. And Ellie keeping up the pressure. Now we see the rotations coming out from Purdue. Looking very well right now. Nam off the sidewall. Not able to get control. Giggy's going to have to come in and take over. Off the back wall. Is it going to be in? No, it's still there. Nam trying to put a shot in. It pops up. Ellie and Zangus. Zangus can't be there. We are in overtime, ladies and gentlemen. If Butler wins, we move on to game five. If Purdue wins, this will be the end of the series, unfortunately. Ellie trying to make a play. MP Baseball trying to come in. Zangus trying to put a shot on. Giggy is up now, and Ralba puts it in, and that one does go in. Zangus fulfills it for Purdue, and they are able to end this series right there. Just back and forth situation. Ralba putting it down for Zangus, and just a great play. GG's everyone Wanted to see some more Rocket League action, but sadly that is going to be it as we head back into the booth I'm going to update the overlay where Purdue does come out on top With three game to one series. Let's head back into the booth now Such a close match such a close matchup such a good game coming from Butler Butler they had the lead and, uh, you know, so close at that one minute mark, they're able to take the game. And then finally Butler just, or I'm sorry, Purdue takes it in overtime. Sadly enough, that is all we have. It's a quick stream. Uh, we just were just trying to finish that series. I've sadly enough, I've got to do something else. I've got to get going and get, and, uh, get ready. But later on tonight, we have a full series. It's going to be the Butler A team versus IU. You ever just need a break from a car, so you switch cars for a couple days, and then you go back to that car you used to have before you switched. I do that all the time. I go between Octane and uh, Dominus all the time. Uh, and then you play amazing with it. Yeah, I, I've, I constantly switch between the cars. About every three or four months, I switch between cars. But, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, that is all we have. Four to nine. I am going to end the stream here and now. And then we will go ahead and I will announce later on on Twitter. So be sure to hit me up on Twitter right there. And you will see when the uh, Butler A team takes on IU. It is going to be Butler's, yeah, Butler's A team at 8 p.m. Eastern tonight. So I am going to... Get ready. I've got to get going. I'm going to watch some RLCS while I'm doing it, and we will be back later this evening. Thank you so much. This is the Collegiate Star League, and I am your host, The Mustache. We will be back later tonight. See you guys later.